Hey guys, welcome to another episode of, of uh, Mod Sauce. Wow, I almost didn't know what we were playing for a second. Uh, we're at our base uh, for Tank and I, and a Blood Moon actually just came up. Right here it says Blood Moon is rising. As you see, everything is getting very red. Um, I was going to give you a grand tour, but I might have to wait until after the Blood Moon. Um, I guess I can still give you a tour inside of the base. So we have these trap doors now that kind of like, you know, make sure that nothing gets in here. Uh, thanks to Tank. Um, going downstairs, we have another one down here that closes to kind of close off all of them from us. Uh, we finally got an ME drive and, an, oh, actually, you don't think you know any, anything about any of this stuff. So this is all new to you guys. Uh, yeah, we created this base out here and, um, took most of our, uh, machinery that we had over there at the old base and put it here. We've got, uh, a crafting terminal, uh, ME station right here that we can, you know, put all of our stuff in and which actually some of our stuff does go into, um, down here we actually have an end chest that is also hooked up to our bags here. So if I hit that, it this up. Uh, let me see if I have any torches. I do. I need to light this place up down here. But I don't think it matters. Uh, but yeah, so we've done a lot of work to this place and um, it's come a long way. We now have a, a steam boiler going here. And it's constantly uh, creating energy for us into this resonant energy cell, which you can't really tell it's a resonant energy cell because it's so red. Um, we're using a single redstone furnace to cook our uh, to cook all the wood into charcoal, which then feeds into the into here into the steam boiler. Uh, I just decided to do it like that because it seemed um, easier than doing a steam oven. Steam ovens are cool and all, but um, it just seemed like it was for what we need right now, which, in fact, um, let's see here. If you look, we have a simple lapis upgrade, and that right there is powering our base. Like, just uh, this small area of trees that grow. Of course, the trees can be pretty big, as you see here. And I do think in the last episode I had a jetpack. Um, I do now have a upgraded hardened jetpack, which I think it was 25,000 RF, correct? Is that right? Uh, let's see. The one that you it got. Is, yeah, 25,000. So this one is an upgrade to 400,000, so that's a quite significant upgrade. Now, it was kind of a pain in the butt to make, but um, if you've got plenty of copper and time, I think you can get through it pretty quickly. Um... So, some of you may, may have noticed that I've streamed more often lately. If you watch my streams and you watch my videos, I don't know if you do both. Some people only do one and some people only do the other. Um, I've been doing a lot of streaming, so I'm going to, you know, totally plug myself right here and throw this up on the screen so you guys can come visit me, follow, uh, check out, or just kind of like, you know, check your email for... Uh, streams coming up, things like that. Like if I stream, it's usually after work, which is uh, during the week around 6.15 or so, 6.30. Uh, it gives me enough time to get home from work and um, kind of get things going and get me something to drink and all that stuff. That's like central time, right? Yeah, that's central. That's uh, central time for sure. That would be for you people on the eastern seaboard, that's uh, like 7.15, 7.30-ish. 7. Yeah, but I'll definitely also tweet you guys out, which I'll throw that up right now. And uh, yeah, we can um, you can check for updates there. I might you know just say, hey, I'm I'm feeling like I'm gonna get off early today, or I'm gonna get off you know a little bit late, so the streams aren't gonna start you know until the late later. But um, I think this week I streamed at least three or four times, which is pretty. There were a couple. Yeah, definitely more than um, more than two, I, I think. So. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I wanted to show you this base. Um, we've been working on it for a while, just Tank and I. And um, we're going to add some more stuff to it. This is the simple uh, program. If you guys want to know how to make a simple tree farm, which there's the nice little blood moon. If you guys want to learn more about how I do this and how I make the power, because the power is awesome. 
Uh, I think it's it is uh, more powerful than having solar, um, and I think more powerful than having the wind turbines. But of course, if you make a lot of those wind turbines, I mean, I mean, you could probably have as much power as we have without having to worry about possible issues of running out or anything like that. <clears throat> Which we may get into solar eventually, or I don't know if I, I don't know. I kind of like steam power; it's always done me well. And uh, it's doing us well right now. The only thing I had to upgrade, and I noticed that made a significant difference in how much power we get from these uh, four steam dynamos, was uh, upgrading the cable that we had. Now, I had previously like a, uh, what is it, um, a pipe, like a um, extra utilities transfer pipe. Um, and it was transferring energy. I put one energy thing there, and it was just not pulling enough power. I even put an upgrade in it, and it just was not doing the job. But um, I'm going to just snap off one of these uh, light, uh, here, let me take one of these universal cables, these uh, elite cables here, I said a light, but I meant elite. Uh, if you look at it, it, hold, it has a capacity of 3200 uh, RF per tick, which is like really, you know, a lot, a lot better than I think. I think I was getting like two to 300 off those transfer pipes, so transfer pipes are not at all good for transferring uh, energy. Um, especially not at a high rate, because um, if you're trying to pull off um, energy off of a um, boiler, you really need to have, you know, a pretty unlimited supply. And I don't know if this is even the best. I think there's one more tier above the uh, the Elite Universal Cable, but I think that pretty much does the job. If you have seen, like, when when I like pulled up the uh, the uh, resonant energy cell and like put it back down. It was insane how fast it was going up. Um, so, you know, that's all we're really going to need right now. But, um, but yeah, I can definitely do like a tutorial if you guys need it. I mean, I don't know if you guys need it because you guys might already know how to do something better. I don't know. But anyways, this was a quick update for today. Um, just kind of show you around the base. Um, I can go actually over to the other base real quick, show you what's going on. We have all of the same stuff going on in here. There's, nothing's changed. This is still our little kitchen. Um, out here we've got uh, ender lilies growing off of uh, end stone, which you can now create. You don't have to go to the end to get that. We've got our little tinker area over there. Um, some of the other guys have definitely done some things with their bases and I can fly over there right now and check that out give me a second let me get my uh, hang glider up so let's let's go over here first to I think this is um wait whose house is this the one that you got killed at what was it? not buzzy um, fuzz yeah buzzy buzzy yeah buzzy's house there is no TNT buzzy. You just got tricked, tank. Uh. Woo! So there's uh, oh, all yeah. kinds of stuff over here at Buzzy's house trying to get him. So we're going to go on. See, now that the looks like the um, blood moon's starting to go away, we're going to go over to... Uh, what? What's his username? Wahoo Wah. Wahua. I was wondering. It's a funny. Yeah. I know. Let's see. Uh, I know their real names. I just didn't want to say it. So I just trying right. to figure out. Um, now he's got. He's very far advanced. I think he's pretty much end game done. Like everything. As you see here, he's actually cut this off. But this is a uh, salination controller, which basically gives you three times the ores. Is that correct? Four. Four times. Okay. And I guess all this down here. Is more stuff that have to do with that. Um, I don't know what this thing is really. This is an electric pump, ultimate mechanical pipes. I, I have no idea what is going on in this this thing here, but apparently it's very uh, high tech. I have no idea. Um, oh, I don't know what this is over here either. I think this is another of the same. Uh, all this has the same purpose. It's all to uh, quadruple your ores, basically. Um, it's an expensive way to do what we do with a pulverizer. Just get more out of it. Yeah. 
so you ship all your items from your quarries and or like your ores and stuff into that um, let me also come down in his base and show you uh, he's got quite a bit of stuff going on here and he's got a NASA workbench which leads me to believe he's already created a rocket and gone to the moon I have no idea if he has or not I haven't talked to him he hasn't not yet oh he hasn't okay but uh, he's got I this crazy we setup about it. <clears throat> and as you see his his cubes are crazy full of RF uh, he's got so much power I'm sure he's pretty much ready to go to the moon uh, anytime now so really cool stuff uh, fairly small base for you know what he's got going on uh, but anyway yeah guys that's kind of like everybody here on the island um, Sawyer moved away we will check him out in the next episode uh, thank you for watching guys and I will see you guys next time I kind of like the blood news all right, wow. guys, we're uh, got some news. We're back. So, yeah, we're back. Um, and I'm actually recording this on the same day I recorded the last episode because this is going to be a real quick episode. And we have some news that we're going to change uh, mod packs from this mod pack to the Feed the Beast Infinity due to issues of uh, lag <laughs> and instability. Uh, of the server so we're going to do that soon uh, this is something actually I built I, I built a, like a nice little uh, farmhouse and I was still working on the floor and things this is made out of hay bales but um and I might be able to work on this on a single player for a little bit I'm gonna download the world from doc but um but yeah guys we're gonna get on that feed the beast infinity so we'll have probably a new new episodes coming soon with that and have some new people on the server so it's gonna be lots of fun and I don't know, Doc's acting weird. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> the fail. <laughs> oh, my God. But, um, but yeah. Fun stuff to come. And uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to finish this map. If anybody really cared. I don't know. But uh, we will see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> come back in. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, see ya. <laughs>